Hello, for ConeoNow.com News, I'm John Fain. We'll start today with a reminder to shop local. If you shop with a local merchant, you're not only helping a friend and a neighbor, you're helping to keep desperately needed sales tax monies in your own hometown. The merchants listed on this website support the Conejo Valley, so check them out and see what they have to offer. Okay, now what's on to happening in and about our Conejo Valley. Tomorrow from 9 in the morning, 9 a.m. until 1.15 in the afternoon, the City of Agoura Hills Department of Community Services Senior Re Recreation Program is offering mature drivers renewal courses for seniors. It's for seniors who have taken the eight-hour course in the past. They are now allowed to take the four-hour renewal class. No driving is involved. It can help seniors qualify for reduced auto insurance rates. For more information, please see our calendar section. Also tomorrow is the groundbreaking for the new KCLU Studio Center to take place at 3 p.m. The $2.9 million center will house the Palalucci Family Studios. There will be a tour of the state-of-the-art production rooms, one of the rooms of which will be the National Public Radio Station's first dedicated newsroom. During the meeting of the City of Agoura Hill City Council set for Wednesday evening, the council is expected to adopt a second extension of a moratorium ordinance regarding wireless telecommunications facilities within the city. The city adopted an interim ordinance last year and the ordinance is set to expire on September the 25th. It prohibits the installation of wireless telecommunications facilities throughout the city while the city undertakes studies to review and update the city's current codes to control future permitting of such facilities. Staff is saying it believes that further coordination with the City Council's appointed ad hoc subcommittee is necessary. Staff anticipates that the remaining work would require about uh, three months. Staff is attempting to understand impacts associated with the installation of wireless telecommunications facilities in the city. It is exploring regulatory options that are consistent with state and federal law, as well as the Agoura Hills General Plan, for better managing and minimizing the safety, aesthetic, co-location, and additional management issues implicated by the potential proliferation of wireless telecommunications facilities in the city. And it is working to protect against the intrusion of income compatible and potentially disruptive uses that may cause blight. Also during that City Council meeting, staff is requesting direction from the City Council on whether to proceed with a proposed ordinance to address the regulation of tobacco retailers within the city. At the City Council meeting held on January the 13th, city residents expressed concerns regarding Sam's Tobacco Shop on Teo Boulevard. The complaints were of the alleged sale of drug paraphernalia and the impact cigarette and tobacco sites sales have on children. There are many options for the City Council to consider in addressing tobacco and paraphernalia sales at existing and new businesses, which range from prohibiting new businesses and their licenses and to develop new requirements for such shops. The city may limit through zoning the number of tobacco retailers in the city or restrict the lawful location of tobacco retailers, including prohibiting all new tobacco retailers, capping the number of allowable tobacco retailers, applying location requirements by zone, and applying distance requirements from residences, schools, parks, youth centers, and other areas where children under the age of 18 years old may congregate. Alternatively, the city may require that a tobacco retailer obtain a conditional use permit from the Planning Commission in order to operate in particular areas of the city. Staff is asking the City Council to provide non-binding comments and direction to proceed with an ordinance to address the regulation of tobacco retailers. On Tuesday, August the 31st from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Westlake Village Civic Center, the cities of Westlake Village and Agoura Hills have teamed up to host Are You Prepared? This is an event aimed to inform local citizens about steps they can take before, during, and after an earthquake to better protect their homes and their families. Representatives from several public agencies and survival product vendors will have information available on their roles in preparedness and emergency response. For more information about this, please see our calendar section. Now, for those of you thinking about getting a furry friend to share your life, please think adoption. There's hundreds of wonderful pets dreaming of new homes trapped in area animal shelters. The ConeoNow.com Pet of the Day is this beautiful seven-year-old female Yorkshire Terrier. She is now ready for adoption from the Agoura Hills Animal Shelter. For more on this beautiful little furry friend, call 818-991-0071.
Please send us your announcements and event listings. We want to offer the most complete list of events possible for the entire Conejo Valley. Email those announcements to me at John at Conejo Now. That's John at Conejo Now dot com. John at Conejo Now dot com. Or use the form right here on this page. Okay, have yourself a great day. For ConejoNow.com News, I'm John Fain.